Hello guys! Today, President Zelensky and Prime Minister of Greece during their meeting were targeted with a Russian ballistic missile. Fortunately, both of them, the delegation, survived, but unfortunately, five Ukrainians were killed. Russia once again reminded us we cannot be safe on this planet as long as Putin is considered a president of the Federation and millions of his inhabitants support the idea of this war against everything normal, everything democratic and everything adequate on this planet. This is a very alarming precedent. Of course, it is not the first time Russia wants to behead Ukraine. But it is perhaps the first time when it openly attacks not just the leader of Ukraine, but the leader of the EU country and our friend and supporter, the Prime Minister of Greece. Let me tell you more about this very dangerous event that took place in Odessa today. My name is Anna and I vlog daily from Ukraine since the start of the brutal Russian invasion. So if you're new to the channel, you support Ukraine, please subscribe and help us fight against Russian propaganda and fake news. And my long-time friends, check your subscription status and hit notification button. So we all know that today a missile exploded less than 150 meters away from President Zelensky. That is really close. If you want, you can make an experiment, walk 150 meters away from your house and feel how close this actually is. I did that during the day and I was terrified because this is too close. Of course, it's pure evil that Russia targets any location in Ukraine for two years already, but this is considered a new normal by many. Odessa is the city that suffers a lot from this evil regime. Just recently, lots and lots of people were killed after a night Shahed attack, five Ukrainian children in one night. And uh, today, five more were killed during this attempt to behead Ukraine. It's so bad that YouTube makes me avoid some real words uh, not to uh, stop this video from sharing. That's why I have to invent the synonyms. So let me tell you more about the very meeting itself. You know that Ukraine was and is very successful in cleaning the equatorium of the Black Sea of Russian warships. We've managed to liberate the Snake Island. We've managed to liberate oil towers in the Black Sea that were used since 2014 by Russian invaders as the um, such points in the sea where the soldiers remained. So we've cleaned the equatorium and to a great extent the western part of the Black Sea is now again available for sailing, for trade and it's all very important for Greece too. Greece is our friend and partner in trade and the majority of Ukrainian uh, ships that get out of Ukrainian ports they travel by Greece. And Greece is active in the protection of Ukrainian interests in speaking about the crimes of Russia in the Black Sea. And it was an important meeting that had to discuss the safety, security, renovation of trade in the Black Sea. Of course, uh, Russian spies are working. They knew about this event and they tried to target President Zelensky and the Prime Minister of Greece. Guys, if you're new to the channel and you watched almost half of my story, remember to subscribe, demonstrate your solidarity and help more Ukrainian information be prominent on YouTube. This is indeed very important. So, uh, actually, we may say that this meeting was to mark this breakthrough in the protection and cleaning of the Black Sea from invaders. And perhaps that's the way Russia wanted to send a message. Uh, there was an alarm, an air raid alert, uh, but what you have to understand, some of Russian missiles that they target on Ukraine, especially if they do it from temporarily occupied territories of Kherson region or Crimea, travel really fast. If it's ballistics, you literally do not have time to hide. And that's why uh, both Zelensky and Prime Minister of Greece experienced this huge explosion 150 meters away from them when they were simply somewhere outside, not in a bomb shelter. You literally do not have time to do that. That's why many of those experts who advise Ukrainians how to survive have to take into account that war is very dynamic, there are fast missiles, there are 
various things that may go wrong and you cannot guarantee security for a person who stays in a country at war. And once again, this is another reason why I still do not advise you to travel to my country. I'm really happy that many of you want to see Ukraine. I pray that the day when it is safe to travel to Ukraine comes soon and I'm even ready to invent some projects, ideas, I don't know, tours to show you more. But unfortunately, not yet. <clears throat> we have to unite, we have to finish evil Russia faster and then all of you are invited. But anyway, uh, this is also another very vivid uh, counter argument to those Russian propagandists who try to spread rumors like everything is agreed, they do not target a Ukrainian president, perhaps they are simply trading on this war. There were lots and lots and lots of attempts to stop Zelensky from doing what he does and they failed. And this one is very vivid and illustrates that Russia continuously tries to uh, make Ukraine suffer. And one of these uh, ways that Russia wants to undermine our existence is actually to pretend that we are not legitimate anymore because we don't have a president or we don't have a parliament. And this is actually one of the reasons why it was so important to have elections, presidential elections in 2014 when Yanukovych escaped to Russia. <clears throat> and um, I think we all understand that no one can be safe, not just in Ukraine, but on this planet. Uh, with Putin as the so-called president and millions of Russians liking his masculine toxic leader behavior and bullying the rest of the world. The reaction of the prime minister of Greece says it all. He uh, felt what is it like to be in Ukraine, uh, what is Russia like when it sends missiles, when it shells you daily. And uh, they have also visited a number of locations previously destroyed by uh, Russian attacks. And there are many, many, many of such scars and wounds on the territory of my very beloved country. So I think um, there is no space for any negotiations, for any forgiveness. And I'm really happy to hear that President Macron and now President of Czech Republic Peter Pavel is also talking about the possibility of international troops coming to Ukraine. I know it may not be real, um, it may not come into reality, I mean, but the very message is quite uh, important and I'm sure that Russian orcs hear it too. Anyway, thank you so much for your support and your understanding we have to be very careful and alert yes this is my plan i typically have plans we have to be uh, very alert because russia threatens not just ukraine russia threatens not just georgia or moldova or the baltic countries that were once occupied by soviet union russia threatens our civilization our way of life our democracy our rules, respect for human life, for diversity, and all of that. That's why we have to stop it, and the sooner we stop it, the better. And thank you so much for being with the channel. If you're new, remember to subscribe and join our beautiful community. Don't forget to like this video, and hopefully one time soon we will discuss how Ukraine targeted the bunker of the Botox grandfather, I mean Kremlin Goblin. Uh, join me on Instagram, threads and Twitter and we have a beautiful Discord community and let me know in comments below would you like to have a live stream this Saturday because I feel I've missed you and there are so many topics we can discuss starting from the terror that is growing in Russia. Maybe you have some other ideas for the stream, please leave them in comments below. Thank you so much for buying me coffees, becoming my patrons and inspiring more of my projects. Remember to check our new beautiful collection of Ukrainian made weapons and drones in our merch shop. They work well as reminders and conversation starters. But most importantly, united we stand and united we win. Slava Ukraini!